So this phone is BlackBerry's iPhone killer, and basically, it's, you missed. Yeah, it's 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 wide right. So here's my question. Yeah, I mean, sure. Why, why does BlackBerry feel the need to make an iPhone killer? I mean, they're BlackBerry. I, iPhones should be making a BlackBerry killer. Well, I would not consider the iPhone to be any kind of competition for the hardcore business user. It's a really nice piece of hardware. The I screen think it's a great piece of hardware. comes down really well. The, it's a nice shape. It's not too big, although it's a little bigger. Uh, like I think twice so. It's as a little. It's twice as big as the iPhone. It's a little heavy too. Yeah, so it's a little bit heavy. The, it's got some nice camera action on the back. Three point uh, two megapixels. That's right, and to actually take some pretty sharp, sharp pics. But you know what the problem is? Mm, what was the problem? So slow. Everything about this phone is very slow. Very slow. Have you met a BlackBerry user? Who like the phone? Any BlackBerry user. Yes. They don't move slowly. They no. are like the super no. fast, sell, 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 right. get Obama in the White House. You know, that's what I think of when I think of the... You think um, of Barack Obama? I, well, who I has think... A, who has a BlackBerry? That's right, he does have a BlackBerry, yeah. but he doesn't have this one because this he thing does, is too slow. It's too slow for him. This phone is uh, exclusively through Verizon, and it's just for people who are on Verizon, maybe have a contract with Verizon, who have ah. a BlackBerry, who maybe want to get an iPhone-like device are stuck with a Verizon contract. Yeah. I give this guy six balls, six, six out of balls. ten balls. If you don't mind the slowness, and you're a hardcore BlackBerry nut, you know, and you want a touch screen, then you might want to check this out. If not, get the BlackBerry Bold. There's a lot of stuff that comes out of China. This is the, uh, the high phone from a company that shall remain nameless, right? It's, it's called the high phone, I think, because you You'd have to be high to, to actually <laughs> buy it. Well, here's a here's something that's very interesting. So I was I was playing with this, and uh, it, while it it actually looks like an iPhone on the outside at first glance, right? It has a, a screen right. just like so the iPhone. It looks just like the iPhone but screen. But when you actually bring stuff up on it, like I noticed this right here, it's horribly horribly jagged. Do you see that? The thing is just beyond fake. Like you know, it's, it's advertising like that. That there's email, but this is actually your text messages and the email icon. Um, That's really bad. So <laughs> all right. So so how did you how do you actually get this? Because I can't go into an AT&T store and buy one of these right now. Yeah, I had to order it off this janky website that was selling these iPhone knockoffs. It had several what, iPhone what, knockoffs. What janky website was it? It was called. Actfind.com. Oh man. So it's basically a website that has all these like. <laughs> Yeah, just, just these kind of shady products. I had to get some customer service to figure out how to use some parts of this thing. Oh, like what? And I just emailed this this lady, and just some lady who called herself Mary replied. Right, her name was Mary. was obviously using this Google Translator. It costs uh, $120, and, and the worst part wow. is to ship it from China. They saw you it's, coming. It's something like 40 bucks to ship from China. So then you're, okay. you're almost paying the same as you would for an iPhone, which is you could get these for 200 bucks, and this is... 160. The only difference is, you know, this is unlocked. Would you recommend this phone for anybody? I gave it a 2 out of 10. A 2 out of 10. So yeah, this is bad. basically, you know, avoid this at all costs. 